The Cinnamon desktop was made for the Linux Mint project, but it is a wonderful desktop to run on a wide variety of Linux distributions. First, taking a look at the general UI, you'll see a menu on the bottom left with categorized application menus, with some quick links on the side to some system functions and your favorited applications, and of course a way to search your various system applications and settings. Now sticking with the default layout of this bottom taskbar, we have a view desktop button and then our application icons. Now, similar to something like Windows, this is how you're going to go ahead and manage your open applications. And when you minimize an application and hover over the icon, you'll get a nice little preview of the actual application. Now, if we take a look on the right side of the taskbar, we can see our system tray icons with easy access to the calendar, volume control, and some other basic system functions. Now, if we go back over to the menu, we can open up our system settings and we can see that everything we need is nicely organized by category. All the settings here are really easy to use, understand, and configure. Now the Cinnamon desktop is actually a fork of GNOME 3 that took place about 10 years ago and with this Cinnamon uses GTK for the theming. In Cinnamon customization isn't as extensive as something like Plasma, but there are definitely some fantastic options to make your system look as you would like. Getting themes is actually a very user-friendly experience. All we need to do is click on Add Remove and then it will give you a wide selection of options from various online repositories. Now Cinnamon also has extensions and getting extensions is very similar. All we need to do is click on the download tab and you'll be greeted with a good amount of additional options and extensions to extend what your Cinnamon desktop can actually do. So that was the Cinnamon desktop as quick as possible. I'll link below to some additional resources and if you would like to see some other desktops as quickly as possible, I'll go ahead and link to those as well. With all that, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.